All right, now we wait. How's it going, everybody? The Immortal Abomination six-star featured grind is done in the books, and uh, you know, it was a push. I'm Rob Von Chu. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the first big six-star featured grind that I've gone for. It is the second arena currently. Uh, and I really wanted me that six star immortal abomination. I've opened up about 25 featured six stars, chasing him, hoping to get him. He's a stellar champion. Prestige is really nice too once he's awakened. And you know, I just really wanted one too. So that having been said, uh, I wound up spending the last three days nonstop refreshing six star champs, five star champs. Wound up putting up about 125 million points, which was enough to land rank 25 127 there we go so I'll, I'll take that i'll take that I wound up spending about 5,000 units did make up some of that with some of the uh, arena crystal unit drops the rest of it i've had on the account already so it was pretty okay aside from you know sleeping only three four or five hours over the last couple of days but i'm gonna go ahead and claim this guy yeah there we go there he is that having been said, there are a couple of points that I really need to bring up again about the new arena system, especially having put up 127 million points for a basic champion. Point one, they have got to fix the bugs in arena. The fact that the game crashes, it was crashing for me at the end there, the last day, every 30, 35 minutes, instead of the usual 45 to 50 that it has been the days previous. The fact that the game just can't hang on with any sort of reliable stability for such a short amount of time especially over a sustained amount of period, you know, where you're, you're crashing time and time and time again, you're just barely getting into a new rhythm and the game is down again. It's horrendous. And the fact that, you know, even though it's a new arena, the arena system has been in place for years and years and we're still running into this problem, that's not great. So really hoping and looking forward to seeing when they wind up fixing and patching this or else uh, it's not gonna be great going forward. Next point I got to bring up is definitely in regards to the milestones. Now, I grew my roster way back when, when the five-star arena was just starting out. And I made it a point to try in my very best to grind out every single featured five-star that I could that I didn't have. That way, you know, I'd get the new champion. I'd have more champions to wind up using towards, you know, the champion after that. Just make things easier and easier and easier. In addition to being able to get a bunch of units from the milestones to help support, you know, some of those chunkier grinds. And while the current system works great for people with really deep rosters, for people uh, coming up right now who want to do that same sort of thing with the new arena system, they can't because not only are the milestones really, really high and chunky, but you keep getting pitted against the biggest doom squads out there with your six star rank three sig 200s you know nick furies dr dooms gilly 99s and the like there you can't compete so there's got to be a solution somewhere in there that either you front load the milestones with more units and you know the three and four star champion bring them a little bit lower so people building their roster can actually you know feasibly compete within a, a reasonable time span or you're gonna need to wind up reintroducing a, a new arena specifically for those developing rosters. And the last point to bring up is in regards to the opponents you fight. Now, I've been talking a lot with the CCP, I've been talking with a lot of other fellow arena grinders and their experience. But it seems like I always keep getting pitted against the same pool of champions, even though it's related to different players. I always run into Gilly99, I always run into Nick Fury, I always run into Dr. Doom. Now, I've been told that this is because those are the champions that, you know, most people wind up ranking up and to that I, I agree at some some point but but the fact that at least 80 percent of the squads that i face have at least one of those champions which makes me wonder if there's a limited pool of like quote unquote best case defender champions that the game pulls from as opposed to overall prestige or you know matching one-on-one -on -one for a pi level i would thought that i'd see a lot more silver surfers or if it's just based on you know champions that people rank up because they're good i would expect to see more ghosts or corvuses now, I'm sure a bit of that is tinfoil theory hat, but, you know, when you're doing 700 rounds of arena, I need to be able to fight more than the same pool of 20 champions. But that's it. That's my experience. That's my first-hand rant. I'm going to be doing an arena later on for Mr. Negative. I'll catch you guys on a live stream there. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section. Appreciate checking that out, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Rob Von Chu. Take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. Be well, everybody. Bye for now.